Tonight, we're learning nearly half of Antioch's police department is involved in the racist and homophobic text chains that have rocked the community. And the fallout is now escalating with the Contra Costa County Public Defender's Office demanding the district attorney drop every single pending case brought by Antioch police. NBC Barry Stephanie Magallon joins us in the newsroom with the latest. Jess, the situation is escalating. When we first learned about the FBI investigation, we knew at least 17 officers were involved. That number rose to 24, and now 45 officers, according to the County Public Defender's Office, and all of their cases are now in question. With every new racist text unearthed, an officer identified, the fear and outrage grows. It frightens the community to know that the people that are charged with protecting them, the people who are funded by their tax dollars, feel a certain way about them, are joking about committing violence against them. In a new letter to the Contra Costa County District Attorney, Public Defender Ellen McDonald reveals there's now at least 45 Antioch officers on text chains they call racist, homophobic, and violent against black people. McDonald also confirms at least 16 of those officers are in leadership roles. The number of officers involved is so deeply concerning. It raises questions about how this went on for so long, who was complicit, what was the impact on all of just the cases by the people who called for help. Tonight, the Council on American Islamic Relations, San Francisco Bay Area, condemned the recent revelations. Its executive director says she's afraid of reading the messages and the effect they would have on her. Messages like these exchanged during a stakeout for four murder suspects. Officer Eric Rombaugh texted so many black people. Officer Jonathan Adams replied, bro, they all look the same. Rombaugh responded, tell me about it. I feel like I'm at the zoo. There are people who are sitting behind bars based on the testimony of these officers who are now proven to be incredibly discredited, racist, bigots, acting under the cover of law. She's not alone in questioning their cases. In the letter from McDonald, he requests the DA immediately dismiss all pending public defender cases involving Antioch PD, release their incarcerated clients, and cease filing any APD-related cases. If anybody who attempted to do real harm to the community, um, you know, gets an opportunity to have their case dropped, that's on the hands of these officers. Antioch Mayor Pro Tem says the latest reports have been shocking to read and is prepared to support a request from the mayor to bring a racial equity audit in the police department. That request will be heard Tuesday during a special city council meeting. I've been getting a lot of calls and a lot of people would just like to see every officer named and everybody in leadership who was aware leave the department immediately. The chief released a statement yesterday apologizing and promising a thorough investigation. We also reached out to the DA's and public defender's office for comment, but it was after hours and we have not heard back yet. But based on the letter from the public defender's office, it looks like both entities will meet on Monday to discuss this issue.